Among McLaren's claims for the 570S are easier entry and egress than the 650 and 675 models, in which the higher rocker sill rises steeply upward as it nears the A-pillar, creating a territorial dispute with the spacer feet would like to occupy as they swing into the footwell. In the 570S, that sill is cut lower allowing an easier button seat rotation to driving or riding position. It's among many fine interior details, such as synthetic suede, carbon fiber trim, and relatively usable controls, that fade into insignificance as you settle into a rhythm using this McLaren as intended. That our $219,770 tester left us impressed is hardly surprising. Any car this costly should tingle a driver's neurons on a high level. What's special here is that the 570S does it with charisma, sometimes leaving us pleading for the next corner and at other times fearing it. But every time we mashed the brakes and clenched the wheel, we were reminded that this isn't a dedicated track car. Although close, it isn't the absolute fastest way down many roads. But it might just be the most rewarding. It's certainly something special. And that's always worth a few scares. Don't think for a second that the numbers are compromised. They're not. If the 10.7 second quarter mile doesn't convince you, possibly the 134 mile per hour trap speed will. Probably the 2.9 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time won't hurt, either. If shifted at redline, the 570S never falls off boost, and its carefully calibrated launch control yields probably the most drama-free takeoff in the supercar spectrum. Those optional carbon ceramic brakes work, too. And considering the 570S's $187,300 base price. <laughs>